Our next guests are both San Diego success stories. Please welcome real estate expert Melissa Sophia and best selling author, professional blogger, and podcast host of Smart Passive Income, Pat Flynn. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hi. What's up? How y'all doing? Good. Good to see you. Good to have you back. Love Lisa. being here. Always. Pleasure. And I get to be here with my good friend. Pat Flynn. Okay, I, I, I thought you forgot the name yeah, for a I was, second. I thought that was so dramatic too. effect. That wasn't that was, dramatic. <laughs> that pause, that was perfect. They teach you that in radio. Uh, Pat, I heard about your podcast from multiple people. That's awesome. Uh, in the past, without totally unsolicited. And uh, so it's great to have you here. And Melissa said, oh, I'm bringing on um, Pat Flynn. You know, he does the Smart Passive Income podcast. I was like, what? I, multiple people have told me, you got to check out this podcast. So um, I would love to know more about like your message and sure. you know what you have going on. Yeah, well, actually, my story is really interesting. I was actually laid off in 2008 from the architecture industry. So I went to school for architecture, thought I was going to do that for the rest of my life. And of course, got the carpet pulled out under me. And I kind of had to find my way. And I discovered this thing called internet business or online business. And I had listened to another podcast at the time. And I had listened to an interview about a guy who was making six figures a year selling information about how to pass the project management exam or the PM exam. And I was like, wait, I took some really hard exams as an architect. Maybe I can take that information and package it into a blog or a website or study guides or something and maybe turn it into a business. And to make a long story short, in about a year, I would generated over $200,000 in sales of an ebook, an electronic book, which was purposefully done because then, you know, if it's electronic, you don't have to go to the store or go to the post office or anything like that. It's all done electronically. After people purchase, they get it delivered to their email. And it was just this beautiful thing that literally saved my life and changed my life forever. And I was just starting a family at the time. so completely changed me and then a lot of people asked how I was able to survive the recession and that's where my brand Smart Passive Income came from to be able to share and be very transparent about all that information, all the things I did right, all the things I had wish I had done instead and since then I've built several other businesses in, the, in a similar fashion and I've helped uh, tens of thousands of people do the same. And really my message is business can be done in a very transparent, honest way. A lot of industries, everything from you know real estate to car sales to internet business and anything online, you know, there's there's certain negativity that is in some of those industries because of just the way people kind of interact with others. And I'm trying to go with the, just be fully upfront, be yourself, and in that way you can build a long-term relationship that could lead to a lifetime of customers and a lifetime of fans, if you will. Yeah, there's a lot of short-term thinking being done out there mm -hmm. and it, it causes you to constantly have to short-term think. Um, if you don't start thinking long-term, then you'll always have to think short-term. Exactly. That's the hard part about it. It's like chasing your tail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't stop once you start. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, you subscribe to this philosophy. I right? do. You know, there are so many aspects to what Pat does that I appreciate so much. Uh, he always prioritizes family, all while building super successful businesses. And you know what's really great is his his businesses and how he encourages people to build their own businesses are always uh, in an ethical way and, and very transparent. He actually posts all of his um, monthly income reports online so that his his listeners can follow along and see the success of his businesses growing alongside their own. Uh, you know a lot of these things that he incorporates into. All these beliefs that he incorporates into what he teaches to people are, are things that I want to incorporate into my own business and that I try to remind my agents and you know do within my own business every day. Uh, there are so many speakers and entrepreneurs out there that are constantly talking about themselves and me, me, me and something that we find in our industry a lot as well in the real estate industry. No. <laughs> But with Pat, I love that he focuses on building relationships first. And, you know, it's not all about the business and the money. It's about building relationships. And I totally subscribe to that because with the way that I would like to build my brokerage is, um, you know, always focusing on creating success in real estate for my clients for a lifetime and not necess necessarily in one transaction. So, you know, I you're follow in. him religiously. <laughs> You're in. <laughs> I'm in. And it's like, have you ever been to a party and like imagine being at a party and meeting somebody for the first time. If the first thing that they say is, hey, would you like to buy this Tupperware? You're like, wait, who are you? Like, who are, like that, you just wouldn't want to be around that person. But if you're there and you're engaging the conversation, you're getting to know them. There's this great quote that I heard once that was, you know, in order to succeed in business or really in life, you need to stop trying to be so interesting and start getting interested. 
And so listening to other people, allowing them to speak, and having them be interested in what you have to offer, that's really the, the, the entryway into a lifetime in, uh, relationship with people. And right. in real estate and business and anything, you know, those, those relationships are really important. There's a great story about it. It's kind of an uh, analogy, but it's, um, you know, in, in small towns, right? You always go to the same person to get your bread, right? You go to Bob the Baker because you know Bob, and Bob knows you. When you walk in the store, he's like, hey, how are your kids doing, right? And if a supermarket opened up half the distance to Bob's place and the bread was cheaper, you would still go to Bob, right? Because you know him, you have a relationship with him. It's Bob the Baker, not Grocery Store Incorporated, who you don't even, there's no face there, you know? There's no, there's no actual person behind it, it seems. Exactly. Bob Baker got into a different business here in San Diego. <laughs> he got out of the bread business. Yeah. <laughs> He's in the car business. <laughs> um. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to be nice. It's so um, nice. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, so uh, they're not a sponsor of this show or anything. <laughs> they could be. Um, so <laughs> the, uh, now they can be. <laughs> So what do you, I mean, because part of what your message is is that it should be something that you're interested in. So what you're talking about is inclusion. That's what everyone wants that. Everyone wants to be included. Mm -hmm. So being interested, I think, is exactly what you mean by that. Include people in the thoughts. Get involved with what's going on. Mm -hmm. Don't be on the outside, be on the inside. Uh, but a lot of your messages also has to do with like finding and doing something that has to do with your passion or something that you actually like. Mm -hmm. Not just, oh, hey, I figured out how to sell an ebooks, you know, on whatever. So let me go do that. But it's finding something that you enjoy, right? Yeah, I mean, you have to have passion behind whatever you do or else you're going to fizzle out or burn out or it's just not going to be done in the quality that's actually going to matter to those mm -hmm. who you're serving. But the trick with passion is sometimes people build businesses solely on passion without considering the fact that they still have to make money at some point to be able to support that business and continue to serve others too. So there's, there's a nice balance there, but you're absolutely right. Passion is a, is a big part of it. And by passion, we mean, you know, do you get up like in the morning and say, you know, I'm really excited to do this? Or do you get up and say, oh, I have to do this again? And even if it's something you're passionate about, you get to that level sometimes where you're just like, oh man, like even for me with my podcast, there were points where I was like, oh, I gotta hit record and do this again. And as soon as it's done, I've gotta do the same thing the next week. And I have to remember why I'm doing it. I think that's the most important thing. Why are we working so hard in our daily lives on the things that we do? And for me, it's my family, like you were saying, Melissa, and my kids and being a good example to them, but also my audience. I've had people in my audience tell me and email me and say that what they listen to is life-changing for them. And I realize now that if I get upset or I'm just tired of what I'm doing, that I'm actually letting those people down. So that just continues to motivate me all the time as well. Okay. And I think, uh, now, I'm just curious, since podcasting is something that you do on a regular basis, is that something that you encourage other people to do? Is that the starting point? Well, it, it can be the starting point for a lot of people, but a lot of people are also afraid to get behind the mic and speak, and it's a little awkward being in your home office or anywhere pretending to talk to people when it's just you and your microphone. So it takes a little bit of time to get comfortable with it, but I would encourage everybody to at least give it a shot or if that's not the platform for you, if you'd rather write, then blogging is a similar way to build an audience and build expertise and build authority in the space. Or maybe you, you are completely open and you can do video like what we're doing right now. And either no matter what platform you use, you're building an audience, you're building that trust, which is necessary for you to be able to deliver information and actually ask for a sale on the other end. And again, the sale doesn't happen right away. It happens after that relationship is started. And then um, you know, getting to a point where people subscribe to your email list, like any of those platforms work. But podcasting is fantastic because it's the only one. Like, let me ask you, Derek, for a video, how long will you spend to watch a video sometimes? It's like definitely on, shorter form. On average. So, shorter you know, a few minutes, minutes, maybe 10 minutes if it's a really interesting video. Uh, a blog post, we might spend about the same time reading. With podcasts, people are listening to you up to an hour, an hour and a half of you and your voice, your message, your brand whatever it is you're, you're offering in their ears, like literally in their ears, and there's nothing else distracting them. They can do it on the run, while walking the dog, on the commute, at the gym. It's the only kind of format of content delivery that allows such an immersive experience when listening to somebody else. And so for that reason, I think if you had to choose one, if it was kind of up for grabs, I would, I would start with a podcast for sure. Plus, there are, I think, 500 million active blogs, and I think half a million, 750, or uh, half a million or 750,000 podcasts. So you're also competing with far less people in that space too. So for someone who right now is maybe frustrated, not feeling it, wanting to make a change, do you have like a, this is your next step right here? 
You know, I actually wrote a book to help people with their first steps. You know, a lot of us either have no ideas at all or we have too many ideas. And sometimes people will just latch on and grab that first low-hanging fruit that's right in front of them. And often it becomes, even if it's a successful business, it's not one that actually fits into their lifestyle. That's really important to me. We talked about this. Mm -hmm. Having a business that works for you and your life and how you want to live is really important. And my book is called Will It Fly? How to Test Your Next Business Idea So You Don't Waste Your Time and Money. It walks people through the steps of actually going through the validation process of understanding if this idea or one of your ideas is one that you should move forward with instead of you know working on something for years and then looking back and saying, oh, if I only knew this wasn't going to work out. So that that's uh, where, where that starts. Um, but really it just starts with trying to figure out, like even right now you could probably think to yourself, well, what do people ask me for advice on all the time? Or what's something that I'm constantly doing all the time that people you know, want my help on? That's where you can start. And then you go out there, look at who else is delivering that kind of content or service and see how you might be able to position yourself in a way that's done differently or better. And even if there's a lot of competition out there already, guess what? That validates the fact that that's a good idea. Now you just come in in your own way. And plus, if you are yourself, here's the beauty of it. Nobody's like you. We are all unique. And as long as you put some of your own self into your brand, you're going to be different. And your vibe, however you are, your vibe will attract your tribe. All right, tremendous stuff. Pat Flynn, thank you so much for coming. Check out the podcast, Smart Passive Income, or check out Will It Fly <laughs> on Amazon. Melissa Sophia, thank you so much for being here as well. Thank you, Pat. Amazing always. to have you. Absolutely. As Stick around for more Smarter San Diego TV, where we guarantee to make you smarter than everyone else, commercial free.